KARK 4 today. The threat of power outages is always strong when winter weather makes a push through the state and especially when we're dealing with ice. Brandy Hinkle from Entergy joining us now to talk about extra help they've brought in to make sure our Kansans are safe. We've got crews from several states on standby to help out. Good morning. How are you? Good. How are you doing? Great. Thank you. Yes, we have actually called in some extra resources to be prepared for the weather. It looks to me like maybe it wasn't as bad last night, although I woke up to some thunder sleet. But we have crews staged across the state, heavily in the eastern part where we expected the most accumulation. Uh, we have again about 900 folks called in in addition to Energy Arkansas folks mm -hmm. so that we are ready as soon as it's safe to get out there and assess the damage and start to repair those damages and restore power. We actually don't have as many out as we had anticipated at this point in time. We hope that holds steady, but we're prepared regardless. Yeah, how many outages uh, would you say you're dealing with at this hour right now? Right now we've only got about 3,500. Okay, and you said the eastern part of the state is the biggest concern? Yes, we, we based on what we've been able to tell, that's where the most accumulation is. And so, of course, that's the biggest threat. Although, all across the state, it doesn't matter how much, I mean, just the tiniest bit of freezing rain can put a lot of pressure, a lot of extra weight on our power lines and tree limbs, which therefore can fall and pull those down. So we do want folks to be extra careful. The sun's not up yet, but when you have a chance to get outside and maybe assess damage at your home, mm -hmm. remove debris, but stay away from any pow down power lines. Some great tips there. Brandy, we appreciate your time. Thanks so much. Stay safe and warm out there. And of course, just a reminder, if your power does go out, make sure those power banks are charged up and uh, have a plan in place.